All right, guys. In previous video, we edited, uh, we used front end Bootstrap to make a little bit nicer. But in this video, we're going to make a relationship between product and category. So one category. Uh, so one product can have one category, and one category ha can have any number of products. So for example, if we have accessories, we can category then we can have product like uh, you can add watches or something like TV laptop etc so that's how we work okay so uh, we have uh, till now we're adding from form uh, I mean uh, database but we have to make a form a nice UI so that user can add easily so that uh, so that will be in the next video but in this video we're going to make a category table and make a relationship between category and product so let's dive right in so let's go to category we have your name uh oh i have done it uh before making this video so i want to delete this okay uh forgive me hmm so i've also made category stable let me delete all of them okay no worries okay um i want to show you so uh, there is controller also but for now we wouldn't delete that because we don't need it right now and so let's php audition make uh, model category okay category make model category and we want to say migration in your case you have to do controller too but i have already made it uh so it's so my again <laughs> there is a problem you know in my visual studio code so let me close it and open it all right uh so oh let's open another thing um visual studio uh, our folder <laughs> it's gone wait um Let's open a folder. Blog, yeah. Oh, we want to say blog, okay. All right. Uh, now let's go to here. In category, we want to just have want to have name, name of the category. So we would say table string and name. That's it, model. My migration is done. So I have already migrated now. It's a problem for me. Uh, I would say PHP artisan migrate first, and I'll, I would add some product. You don't have to do that. You have just have to do migrate only. I want to remove all the table and all the data. So, and I'll, I would make category model so protected dollar free label we have just name as an array let's save it uh, this is done okay so localhost this different all the data will be gone so let's add some product um let's add one inside the product uh we have one title would be watch price would be 200 category let's do one and time would be this and let's copy this and paste it here all right let's go let's create um let's do that again to TV and everything let's have same okay and we have two 
then and now we will add category uh let's do fast fast okay uh id would be one name would be accessories and time let's paste it go and go let's say two two furniture for instance okay let's go and do that now let's have data all right so let's refresh it oh we have to do pitch pattern serb i have to do not serve it's the artisan serb if there's server at stop you can do this yeah you know that all right now we have your category id1 now we want to show display here category name actually like accessories so so we can do that by making a relationship between category and product so let's do that uh we we make relation in model okay so in product you know product belongs to belongs to category so public function in product we would have category and let's say return dollar this um, belongs to this product belongs to um, we do category class and this should be capital as this is model um, and also yeah we have I have already did it you have to import this use category and in category you have to do uh use app slash product all right and make a function for relationship public function products because we have multiple products in a category in single category so it would have return dollar this and the category has many products so has many relation okay has many um, product class i think i forget yeah now our relationship is made okay between category uh, product belong to a category class and a category belongs or has many product okay that's the relationship now do anything change no because uh we haven't used lock quint orm so let's use uh let's go to product controller yeah here it is and we'd say not all product all product but actually with uh, what is our relationship name let's go in product this is category okay so let's use category so with category all right so with category and we have to say get now let's refresh it nothing uh now we want to say in views view file Resources views will complete. Uh, here we want to say not category underscore ID but category name. Yeah, see. So how does this work? Uh, actually, we at first we made a relationship between category and product. You saw that, and in the product controller, this eloquent. This uh, all this do is from product which category from relation. It faces all the category. It faces the real. Uh, it had ID of you know one so category ID was one so it will go to the category table and see which is one and one is accessory so it will pick the whole whole row so we'll have like we can display here um, category name okay like that so Instead of category underscore ID, we can use category name. Category is name, okay? That's how we do. We can also use category ID to display one. Yeah, 
it's good also we can do underscore same thing so that's it okay that's relationship uh, if we deep, uh, dive deeper we'll see much more about it so so we have done relationship okay so in next video we we want to add manually you know manually add add these data like product or category and what and when adding product we want to select the category which category we want to select from drop down so in next video we are doing crawl operation uh, from form you know so so this is it guys so i hope you enjoyed the video uh, about relationship uh in next video i'll see you again bye bye thank you